Um, we're going to do a quick panel discussion. So we have three of our members who are going to talk about what their experience in SACNIS has been like. So I'm really excited to introduce um, Victoria Deary. She's a senior undergrad bio major who, and she's been doing research in the Poynton lab, um, which is an ecotoxicology and genomics lab for the past two years. Um, Cleo Falvey, she is also a senior undergrad bio major with a math minor. Um, she's been doing herpetology research in the Revel lab. And Arhanis Ariojas, who is a PhD candidate in the computational sciences program, and his research focuses on stochastic models of gene expression. So I'm really excited that they're all here to share their experiences of SOCNIS because they've been involved for quite a while. Um, so my first question for you, and I'll just call on you to answer this, is why did you get involved in SOCNIS? And C Victoria, could you kick us off? Sure, thank you, Jessica. So I got involved in SACNUS um, through another organization called uh, IMSD, the Initiative for Maximizing Student Development. And both were really um, impactful, both in my sciences and in my identity. Uh, as far as, as SACNUS, um, I was really, um, it really appealed to me how you could really be yourself and not only that you could be yourself, but that it was encouraged and embraced for you to do so. And um, being in that and developing a community with people who, who share that and have their own identities that they want to bring forward and share together was um, really inspiring to the soul and even just, in academics just to um, have support and to keep going. Cleo, how about you? Um, thanks, I also joined SACNIS because I was interested in getting more involved. Um, I believe that um, accessibility in science is a really important issue and I felt like SACNIS as an organization is really conscious about, you know, making sure that science is as diverse and as fun and as accessible and inclusive as it can be. So I really agreed with the um, mission of the organization. So I decided to join the club and it was a really fun experience. Narhanis. Hi everyone. So yes, I was presented to this organization uh, through my network and then I immediately saw the value of the organization itself, the opportunity to gather with other students and share ideas. And also at the moment I joined, there was uh, all this movement with the CNCI art uh, event. So there was a lot of uh, uh, meetings going on around that. And I liked the dynamics. So everybody was uh, up to the challenge and arranged uh, the event the best, the best way uh, we could. So it's a very inclusive organization and very open to your ideas and you can push your own um, work through the activities that the, the, that are planned. So. Yeah, thank you all of you. Um, one of the other parts of SACNIS is that there's these opportunities to see other folks research and to present your own. So can you talk a little bit about what your experience has been like attending a national or regional SACNIS conference? Um, Victoria, do you wanna start again? Sure. It was an amazing experience. I cannot recommend it enough. Um, it was so different than other conferences that I've been to. Um, all conferences have some components which are similar and, and beneficial, but SACNAS was just so different. And, and seeing the video you played in the beginning and what Kelly has said about SACNAS is, brings back so many good feelings because it's all so true. Um, SACNAS is just, tries so hard to be inclusive and um, and celebratory of each person's experiences and even just in how they communicate with uh, their participants they try to be very mindful of other people's life experiences and make you aware that 
your life experience is valid and um, that they want to hear it. And um, also, as was said before by um, our genus, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, um, that that trickles down even into the UMB chapter, not even just national, but um, where when we were planning events, we tried to be mindful and respectful and hearing what others are saying and always understanding that um, people have different and valid points and we try to bring them all together to um, create something even better. Thank you so much, uh, Cleo. Yeah, I agree with everything that's been said so far. I've had a really great time being part of the um, regional SACNIS conferences. What I think is um, really great about them is how um, open and accepting they are to um, early career scientists, specifically undergraduates, like who are doing their first or second poster presentation maybe ever. I did my first poster presentation there um, in 2016. 17, I think, or 18 maybe. And I was really, really, really nervous the whole time. But um, then all like these professors, all these grad students, all the senior undergrads came and like complimented my poster and, you know, talked about science. And like, you know, it was definitely not like the best poster presentation I've ever given. I was super nervous the whole time, but um, everyone there was so nice and including and welcoming and I think that's what's really special because you know sometimes when you go to like a national conference or a large conference you can feel like a really small fish but Sagnus does a really good job of making sure that everyone feels the same and everyone feels welcomed. And Arcanus, I know you went to your first national conference this fall. Yeah and it was a nice surprise. And the, the meetings are usually presential, of course, but this time they had to adjust to the uh, changing situation and they did a very nice job uh, uh, switching the event towards a virtual uh, event. And uh, from the beginning, I started receiving a lot of email with a lot of support. Something, some component that I really, uh, it caught my attention, it was um, this mentorship program. So if, before the events, you would like to get some mentorship. It's, uh, people at Sagnas, like uh, professionals in the network, they just offer their time to help you out with whatever you need. So I, I think that's kind of unique. I, I, I don't know other organizations of your son that, I, that offer that kind of dedication to other members, especially young members that are uh, uh, growing within the, the fields. So that's that's something that, that really impact my vision, my my view of the of the organization. And in the in the event, it's a very complete event. You have uh, oral presentations that you can attend to, and you can present your own work if if you want to in posters or presentations. And um, what else? Um, yeah, and there's also. Uh, they, the Sagnas organizations makes the effort right to gather uh, uh, professional, uh, a professional setting with the uh, employers, right? So if you're looking for uh, an internship uh, soon, you can you can have exposure to those recruit recruiters and talk to them firsthand, and that is a, a very very good uh, completing. Uh, um, uh, opportunity to to take advantage of and if that's just part of the uh, dedication that Saxnas puts into the professional development of their young professionals. Awesome. Um, I'm trying to be mindful of time so I'm going to ask one more question so it's kind of broad feel free to answer it however you see fit. How has being a part of SACNAS helped you in your undergraduate or graduate career? So let's go in the reverse order this time. Um, Arhenas, can you start? Yeah, I'm fairly new to the organization, right? So, uh, and this first meeting uh, has already impacted me in, in my professional de development. 
uh, I'm currently looking for uh, internships for the summer. And in that meeting, I got in touch with a couple of organizations and I already got in interviews from one company. And then I also got an invitation to participate in applications for internships. And these uh, two opportunities are specific. They came through specifically through this meeting, like, um, and of course, I've been applying here and there, but uh, that's, uh, I, I think that's the, the, the biggest impact that I have from the organization right now, other than the uh, chapter interactions with my uh, club mates. Let's say. And also, I've also had a, a mentorship opportunities where Jessica has helped me with uh, a bit of things here and there. So it's just uh, uh, an open community and whatever you need help, you can just call someone and ask for it. Leo, how about you? Yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> I agree. I believe that Zagnus has provided a lot of mentorship opportunities for me. Um, I've been able to like network with um, lots of people and form collaborations that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. Um, so that's what um, has been really valuable for me. Awesome, and Victoria? So for me, SACNAS has helped me in my undergraduate career um, and many facets. So for the national conference, uh, getting practice and communicating my science as well as thinking about it in different ways. One emphasis they, they do is storytelling, which is different than um, other conferences. Um, and as well, going to the conferences, you often get waivers to go to, um, to apply for graduate schools. Um, so that's like a direct benefit that's really helpful uh, financially. And you also get to hear about the different graduate programs um, and then in the UMB chapter, um, being in it has helped me learn um, a lot of organizational skills because I, I was at one time the event planner and um, also just how to effectively run meetings and uh, communication skills and a lot of, so it's, it's a good mix of soft skills and hard skills, I would say. And, and even as Kevin had mentioned earlier that um, they have an upcoming meeting that they'll help you with your abstract. Like they have um, just so many resources. They can tell you about conferences or other research opportunities. They're always, um, we feel like we receive a lot of benefit and we're always trying to give the benefit back. I think that's a really nice way of putting it. And I think that's one of the things that I found that I've really benefited from in SOCNES is that it's this sort of like multi-generational mentorship where I get to mentor people, but they also mentor me back. And then I have mentors and it's just this really awesome multi-directional community. And I really like that. Um, so thank you so much to our panelists for talking a little bit about their experience. Um, I'm gonna open it up to questions. I know most of us here are already involved in SOCNIS. So questions from the audience or questions from our SOCNIS chapter members here who maybe wanna hear a little bit more about each other's experiences. And if you don't have questions for the panelists, if you have questions for the organization in general, we can also take those at this time. Arlan, I was hoping you could introduce yourself since you're a chapter mentor and we have this on recording. Maybe we push that recording. Sure. Um, well, it's a pleasure to be here with you after a long day, but it's, it certainly is a pleasure. I always find Sakhnas as being my community. Um, so yes, I'm Arlan Colon Carmona. I'm a professor in biology. And I've been at UMass for 20 years, but we really didn't get a, a chapter going until about uh, 2015 when I was able to convince enough students that we needed a chapter on campus. Um, but it's an organization that's been around for many years and it was instrumental in, in getting me into science. 
So you know, one of the sayings within Saknas is that you're a Saknista for life that uh, once you get involved, you, you tend to be in this organization for your full career. Um, and so I really hope that it is also true for everybody here, that that's what this organization means. Um, and so being able to grow it on campus at my home institution is a, is a really just a pleasure um, where we're bringing together undergraduates and, and graduate students and providing them support on our campus where they can feel at home. Um, you know, the, the three sayings in, in SACNAS are science, yes, we're a scientific organization, but it's also about community um, and knowing that you have a network of individuals who support you. And then the last one is the culture piece, of course, where, you know, you, you are bringing not only you as an individual, but you're bringing uh, your culture with you and, 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 and uh, knowing that you're, you're accepted um, in whatever you bring. So it's just a, a really great organization to be a part of, and I am looking forward to continuing it for many years to come. Any other questions or comments or thoughts? I'm going to stop the 